game, we would actually see the guy getting up. <laughs> yeah. And there's there's also I think there's an achievement where if you if you if you try to swim off the island, a, a giant monster appears and, and eats you. And if it, if if you get eat if it eats you like ten times, you get an achievement. <laughs> Probably the first achievement you have. No, actually, it, it's actually so, some stupid thing like, oh, it's your first enemy and stuff like that. Because you can't, you can't really get high. You can't really get high. Yeah, that's a nice word. You can't really get that far up until you are further in the game. A dead warrior. That's not good. Now what, what, what would a, a shaman need with uh, gold? Welcome to Kila. Take Kila, maybe. Oh, there's so many shit here. Oh uh, god, there's so many fucking bullshit. Alright, so we got up. Now we have to go down again. <laughs> That is horse shit. Oh, we're not gonna fall down. Watch out. Sorry, ouch. Leave me alone. Oh, fuck's sake. Get over here and fight. What's the better career score for this game? Oh, that's. Actually, that's a good question. I mean, it can't be high, but <laughs> it can't be the lowest either, because Risen 2 is... I remember seeing Risen 2 when it was really bad. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, this game is... In terms of gameplay, it's a bit... It's, it's a bit... It's a... It's better than Risen 2, that's for damn sure. Because I recently played Risen 2, and... Uh, the combat in that is really off. I mean, the fu the fun the most fun you can have is is with guns, I guess. But it it's got problem. That's for damn sure. I mean, it it is the story is better, the characters are better, but the gameplay is just shit. Here it's the opposite. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna type in Metacritic scores. It's better than Risen Two. That's not saying much. No, I mean, yeah, not not if no not not really. <laughs> I don't know if I, uh, okay, if I put the, the if I put this the right way, it's the best. It's the best combat system. For me, the, of all the recent games, which is not saying much, but. Medic Tree Score Resident Three. Here we go. I'm just gonna check this. Resident Two Titan Lord for PC. We can take this. Uh, what let's see here. On a meta score, it got 65 out of 100. Better than Skyrim? Nah. I mean, the world is a little, a little more interesting, but I don't know. Skyrim is kind. Of, Skyrim's comment is kind of boring, actually. So you can't, you can't really parry like you can in this game. But and Skyrim doesn't have guns. <laughs> All right, 65 for Metacritic. No, I mean, I mean, yeah, the enhanced version is a bet is 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 better. So yeah, sixty five is a great one. I think it's on PC. It's better, of course. Obviously, it's always better on PC. But yeah, sixty five is pretty good. So I'm just waiting for their next game that comes out next month, actually. That. A fucking game. What what's it called? Elix or something. And the cre the creators are like, oh yeah, this is gonna be our best game we have ever made. It's like, I mean, it it does look good, and it's a little more challenging. And you get to wear future armor and shoot shit with laser weapons. So that's nice. All right, uh, warriors, warriors, hard ones, not very friendly. Look at this mess. So I'm gonna go from a mess like this to a, to the other game. All right, I'm just gonna take care of the spiders and I'll link it for you. Ooh, 
Should have run away on its eight legs. Alright, I'll type it out, I guess. Elix. Oh shit. Elix. That's it. That's the name of it. I mean, it you yeah, it uses the same engine as this game, but a more utilized version of it. And it, from from all what I've seen, it looks way better than this the game. But that's not hard, so yeah. It's like the it's like they're learning from their mistakes and making better games, but not many people will know about it unless you're like, uh, if you're a fan of the Gothic series. Which is an amazing series, but hard as balls sometimes. <laughs> but hey, it's it, it's a it's a it's a small studio anyway. I think it was made by twenty people only, so that's pretty impressive, I guess. Quink! Sh shit! I'm gonna blast you in the face, boy! Get my ass kicked. Fuck's sake. Show's over then. <laughs> yeah, pretty small. This place looks like oh, a good fuck? spot to bury a treasure. Everything here smells of that old pirate captain, Garcia. Right. I just want to get out of here. Let's move on, okay? Well, okay, first you think there's a... You say there's a treasure here, and then you want to get out of here. Oh, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I watched a video about it uh, from some other guy that I was also expecting the game. He's like, he also a mentioned shrine. what the fuck? Abra Kadabra. Um, hmm. looks as if you need a particular phrase to make something happen here. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> Fucking Christian Bale. <laughs> Yeah, well, about Alex, um, I watched this video, and they say, yeah, Witcher 3 is awesome, but it's scripted, uh, very scripted, so, like, take for example, if you, if you meet a villager, and you, to and you tell him to go uh, t to a certain place, in another city or something, like, if you, if you, like, wait, you can do, you can do every everything else in the game if you want to, but he will always get there. No, ma no matter what you do in the game, he will always get there. Well, yeah, it depends. I mean, if the game is scripted or hard scripted, like, like I said with the villager, you always tell him to get there, and he will always get there no matter what. But in the LX, it's like, oh, there's these NPCs. I mean, you can kill the NPCs, and that would affect the story. It's like. If you kill someone in Witcher 3, it won't affect the story that much, but if you kill a certain NPC in Alex, that will, like... Yeah, you won't hear his dialogue, you won't get his quest at all, so yeah, there's that, I guess. Yeah, like, important... Well, maybe not too important, because you want to break the game, but, you know... I think every I think every NPC is killable actually. I mean, you you can kill them, but it's not recommended. But hey, if you wanna if if you wanna kill uh, all the NPCs, so you can go ahead, I guess. I think you can kill every NPC. I think I think they have. <laughs> I think that he said that. He, I think the creator said it in an interview. Yeah. But yeah, you can kill the guys, but then you would just have a story about a character, a murderer that goes around and kills everyone. <laughs> it's kind of like Morrowind. If you kill an like, NPC in Morrowind, it says like, "Oh, the world is doomed. Please reload another save." But you can still you can still complete the game. Just you just have to do it in a different manner. So that's what I like about a game. I remember on two worlds, I would go to friendly towns and kill everyone. Oh, yeah, I usually do that too. What I hate about two worlds now, when I replayed it, I think it was last month, I really hate that just because you see 
just because someone gets uh, discovers you lock picking, they're like, "Hey, stop that!" And then you have to pay like twenty thousand gold. I'm like, "What the fuck, man!" And if you don't pay it, everyone, everyone in the city wants to kill you. <laughs> it's so bad. It is so bad. Like you wouldn't believe it, man. And I can't get over the voice acting. It's horrible. Oh my god! Like it—it it actually sucks because I—I'm playing it again just because I want those two two achievements I have left. Ah, oh, yeah, the voice acting. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? I mean, I'm okay with lousy voice acting, but that... Oh god, that is just too much, man. Warriors. Hard ones. <laughs> Jesus. It is so bad. Oh, if he got a spider? Oh, he's up there, okay. I forgot the Spider-Man. <laughs> His name is Ho. The the character's name is what you say? Ho! <laughs> oh fuck. Ah shit! Oh there's a fucking crocodile here. I can't see shit! Get the light! Oh my god. Getting assaulted by bats here! This guy has a lot of health. Oh, for fuck's sake, give me a break. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Oh, for fuck's sake, give me a break. Oh my fucking god, I hate this game sometimes. Companions, what are you doing? Protect me, goddammit. Shut up. Shut up, luggage. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, for fuck's sake. Get away from me, you bitch. Come on. You are pure luggage now, boy. Cornered, yeah. Yeah, the crocodiles in this game are fucking horrible. They're even worse in Dresden 2, if, you, if that can be believed. Because of the shitty cuts. <laughs> Shit, the shitty combat. Oh, he's not dead yet? Whatever. Where's the other guy? Oh, whatever. Jesus Christ. Die, will you? Jeez. Is the other guy dead? Oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those two achievements on the two worlds. I think it's. Discover all the underground locations and uh, find all the graveyards in the game. That's the ones I have. And that's a real bitch because there's so many fucking undergrounds. It's hard as ass. Nah, I'm better off with Two Worlds 2. That's actually a much funnier game. Yeah, it's a bitch to find all these. If you don't find them at, on your first save, it's just gonna be... Yeah, I don't. I don't think I will do it. I'm just playing the game because I want. Nobody messes with me. The amount of time you spend on a game sometimes. <laughs> I rather much play Two Worlds Two because that's actually a better game. I mean, it's more fun to play at least, and the voice acting is a little better, a little better. Have you ever played online? No, I actually haven't. I couldn't I couldn't access the online feature for some damn reason. <laughs> <laughs> 